Today I'm checking out a classic Italian restaurant. It's called Joe Rana's really, really nice restaurant. And before you even get inside to try the food, there's a surprise on the outside. So let's go see what it is. Ta-da! The nose is the big surprise. So this is a really iconic part of the restaurant and a lot of people refer to the spot as the nose. So the story behind this is a local artist made this nose out of paper mache for the owner, Joe Rana. So when he put it up on his restaurant, originally people thought it was offensive and they said that it was quote, a sign and they thought that where he put it up was not a designated area for a sign so they actually took this to court. So it went to the Ontario Provincial Court, they fought for a year and eventually the judge ruled in Joe Rana's favour. So 30 years later, he still has his beautiful nose. So this restaurant's dining space is really cool. I'm going to do Cribs edition of Joe Rana. So this space is awesome. There's fairy lights everywhere, there's chandeliers, there's artwork and props. Even the tables are like pieces of artwork. And when you're eating in here, it almost feels really homey at the same time. But I haven't showed you guys the coolest part yet, so let's go. Alright, so stop two. The space where the restaurant is now used to be a bank, but they obviously converted it. But they wanted to, you know, pay homage to the bank that was here, so they kept part of it. Say hello to the vault. Did you hear that? It's real. <laughs> so, if you come in here, ba bam, echo, echo. <laughs> So you can host like private dinner parties here for about 8 to 12 people, solid walls, there's air vents in there if you need to breathe, because most likely you will. And if you thought that was all, you're wrong, there's still some more to show you. Alright, welcome to the final dining space. So this used to be a tire shop originally, and the cool part about this was there was an apartment and a living space above the tire shop and they've preserved some of that. So up here, that's like part of the original living space and then on the other side, there is the original washroom. If you need to go to a washroom, you don't use that one though, you use the one on the lower floor. So I'm done exploring, so it's time to go eat. With a fun restaurant like Joe Rana's, of course, fun food is a given. So let's start off with their gigantic meatballs. Essentially, their meatballs are larger than baseballs, but that's a good thing. So it's a classic Italian meatball. There's some veal in there, pork. They have some veggies in there, some breadcrumbs. And then they slow cook it in this house-made tomato sauce. And when you cut into it, you get this like waft of the most amazing smell ever. And it melts in your mouth. It's really moist. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit less meaty, I guess you could say, you definitely have to try their butternut squash crispelli. So that's very similar to a crepe. On the inside of this, you have some butternut squash mixed with some mascarpone cheese. And then on top, there's this rich, rich, rich butter sauce. And this, oh my goodness, I can't even describe to you how good this is. It's really creamy, there's a hint of sweetness from the butternut squash, it's extra buttery. Overall, it's amazing. So, this restaurant is called Joe Rana's Really, Really Nice Restaurant, and it has really, really nice food. 